Let's just say that Republican Governor Kim Reynolds will run for re-election next year. On the Democrats, you have Waterloo State Representative Rod Smith. He's already announced that he's running. Now, former Secretary of State Deidre DeGere is no longer on the state's redistricting commission. She's thinking about running. And then there's State Auditor Rob Sand. If you just look at the facts that present themselves, he's in kind of a tough spot. Um, if he doesn't run this time, uh, and waits four years or or not um, he's 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 needs somebody strong at the top of this ticket to make sure he can be reelected as state auditor uh, which presumably he would do for the next four years and there's a there's a lot to say for that I mean he's very young uh, he'd be four years better known the governorship's more likely to be an open race in four years than it is this time when Kim Reynolds is admittedly very strong uh, but you, under that scenario, you have to get reelected, and that requires strength at the top of the ticket. And I think that it remains to be seen wh whether people believe we have that. Yeah. But how, what about the aspect of timing? Remember, it wasn't Barack Obama's time, except it was, and he won, right? <laughs> how, do you, how do you know, you've talked to plenty of people over the years, how do you counsel them on this about whether this is your time or whether you're better off waiting two years, four years, six years, whatever it is. You, you know what, my first job in politics was working for Hubert Humphrey. Yeah. And Hubert Humphrey used to say, the times choose you. Yeah. You don't choose the times. Um, and that's kind, of, that's kind of the spot Rob's in. And this is in 2008. Let me make a baseball analogy, David. Jacob DeGrom. New York Mets pitcher, wonderful pitcher. Maybe best in baseball. Yes. His problem is that he, he pitches so wonderfully well and many nights he holds people down to like one run. He doesn't get a lot of run support at times from the New York Mets. Here's the question for Rob Sand. Where's the run support gonna come from in terms of the Democratic Party in Iowa right now? So more broadly, Jerry, how do you look at where the Democrats are? Ross Wilburn's the new chair. How are they assessing where they are in this state? Because in many offices, they are not, frankly. Yeah. So there's a lot of work to do. Yeah, there is a lot of work to do, but here's the good news. For years, people have been saying, where is the bench in the Democratic Party? All these people we're talking about are young. The days of Mahaffey and Crawford <laughs> aged candidates. And, and I think it's a, in Iowa, I still believe it's an advantage to be a young candidate. Uh, and we, we have youth everywhere we look, including in the legislature, by the way, Jennifer Converse uh, and Zach Walls, two tremendously dynamic young leaders. They're going to work incredibly hard. Um, so I, I think the comeback is beginning. But we also like incumbents in this state on both sides, don't we? We, we do. And but some of those incumbents have been people like Terry Branstead and Tom Vilsack, right. who were young Tom when that Martin. was happening. Here, yeah. Here's the thing to remember, though. The last two successful Democratic governors in the state of Iowa were Harold Hughes, yeah, and we've only had three since 1968. Where was Harold Hughes from? Ida Grove. And Tom Vilsack, where was he from? Mount Pleasant. You're talking about candidates from Waterloo, Des Moines, Coralville, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's part of the Democratic, in fact, it is the Democratic strength. But the Democrats have to do better in, in rural Iowa and in small and medium-sized towns in Iowa to get back in the game. If they don't do that, they can't win uh, an election. Speaking of elections, what about Cindy Axony? She is part of the Insider's Quick Six next.